in October 2014, some good Germans from the international circles of friends of Sean Ross wrote a letter to several Swiss authority officers as the Justice Department and others. And actually, they got only one response from the Swiss Ministry of Justice in the name of Swiss Minister of Swiss Justice, Mrs. Simonetta Zomaruga. The letter responded in the typical Swiss way that nobody is ever responsible for any Swiss crimes and that Swissy never has done anything wrong. It's the automatic Swiss we don't know mechanism. Just as any criminal's first reaction to the cops is I don't know what you're talking about. There was no just reaction like, we will investigate the matter. No human emotion involving that false Swiss picture of the Red Cross and human rights they're presenting the world and no apologize for the Swiss police violence, criminal justice lies, 17 years of terror to an entire family, nothing. So just punch pause if you want to read it. This proves how they know about the case and that the entire Swiss people and their criminal state agrees with police terror and judiciary lies while smiling to the outside and behave like devils inwardly behind the screens. And me, Sean Ross, before discovering YouTube in 2010, I sent, without exaggeration, thousands of letters for help. First inside Switzerland, and when I saw that nobody cared, and even giving me more problems, I started to send them abroad. It's all in German. Uh, anybody who can read it I just leave it here as a proof you know and um, so the Swiss mafia they can't just get rid of it see it's there there's only YouTube and some good people against the Swiss crime So this is what some good German people wrote recently when Swissy wants to put me in prison again. And they know too, you know, it's been on YouTube and on television how even German immigrants from the much poorer part of Germany, like in the East, from the former uh, Eastern part of Germany, how they are terrorized and threatened and, you know, by the Swiss and their police. There are lots of stories about that. I actually had more files and letters and a computer uh, which got all stolen by the Swiss Nazi police. They just had to disappear uh, when they arrested me with the, ent with the not anti but just a plain terror squad in 2011 at the time when the Bilderberg meeting was going on in Switzerland. Um, they also stole our, 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 our trailer, our caravan, just like plain car thieves they did. Uh, we have no idea where I went to, you know, it's been years. They stole my computer and never got it back, you know. They, they just tried to get rid of all the evidence, just as they used the uh, their corrupt justice department to um, to make me take off that video of that Swiss Nazi cop uh, hitting me, you know. And actually, the police are public persons, and a public person, you are allowed to film. 
because that's why they're public persons, you know. Um, they, they just take away all the proofs. But these letters are quite recent, and uh, so it shows that the, uh, the Swiss authorities, they uh, know about the case, you know. But they say, well, it's okay, you know, it's just a foreigner. We can do what we want. And actually the Swiss, they know. The Nazi police, they, they, they absolutely know that they can just do what they want. They will never be, you know, they make people disappear, they kill people. Um, if, there will, if there would be um, a uh, appeal in, a, um, in another court, in a higher court, or a European court, then it gets very dangerous as well. But when it concerns Switzerland, no institution of human rights or other will help, as if the order has been handed out internationally. But just watch how alert they are when it concerns Swiss interests. Then there's a very quick and tightly orchestrated response and all sorts of Swiss organizations popping up like the Swiss Defense League or Templar Return in the case of the Luxor Massacre of November 17th, 1997, for example. Where out of 58 tourists gone down at Pharaoh's Temple, no less than 36 were Swiss. It says 36 were Swiss. So what's this high percentage of Swiss doing there, eh? And the percentage of Swiss who got killed at Luxor was even higher than that, as 10 of the 58 killed were Japs. And we find always Japs everywhere, as we can see here. So we don't have to really count them, thus getting as high as 90% of the of the killed being Swiss. Well, the Swiss do lead criminal inquiries, but only if it concerns them. So typical of this Nazi country. Now how come, compared to the population of the rest of the world, there are comparably so many Swiss visiting the pharaoh of Egypt? Well, the Swiss are no real Europeans, are no part of the European community and practically own the EC. It has been recently discovered that both Swiss have pharaonic DNA and their country was founded by the Templars of aristocratic descent of the royal Per A bloodline. So no wonder we find Swissy writing books entitled My Egypt as Swiss Mrs. Baraki here. Well, it says My Egypt, Switzerland's Egypt, Pia Baraki from Switzerland. Wait a minute, Mrs. Baraki? And you said that the other Baraki also has Swiss roots and is not really Buona Mbama? Well, there's the whole story, a Swiss woman writing books like it's her, her Egypt. Oh, no wonder. Swissy considers Egypt as theirs. It's their origin. That says again.
Mein Ägypten, my Egypt. It's theirs. It's that's where they are from. You know. In 2004, 132,000 Swiss visited Egypt, and there are 100 Swiss companies in Egypt. Not bad for a country that depicts Muslims and foreign immigrants in general as subhumans in their streets. All the time, immigrants get brutally murdered by the Swiss, as here, as a revenge for the Luxor massacre on November the 17th. And on the very same date as the Luxor massacre in 1997, Swissy committed arson on a home for asylum seekers in Geneva, leaving some immigrants dead and severely wounded in this year, 2014. Here you can see it. Yeah, November 17th, 2014. Well, this is the exact same date as the Luxor Massacre. And just before, we could have read that the Swiss Templars, or the Swiss Defense League, they're never going to forget it. You see? We all read it. But don't think that the Swiss police is, you know, investigating this. Oh, no. I mean, they are the Nazis. And in Vernier, it's, it's a center of very high-placed Nazis, like the Citoyen Genevois. And, uh, I mean, I visited them myself. I swam in their swimming pool in Vernier. That's where they are. So, I mean, the, uh, the proofs are there, you know. Here it says, a Swiss Knights Templar never forgets. I mean, they say it. I mean, any policeman can investigate this. It's the same date. They say it. They never forget. But, of course, they're not going to spell it out for you, you know. But, uh, I mean, they did it, you know, Vernier, I, I know this place, you know. So this is on the Swiss, well, I, show, I, I go up and do it from down to up from going down. So you can read it all yourself, punch pause. All the things they're writing here. They're all related, they're one, one big family, here it says. Knights Templars, never forget. So this is on the Swiss, uh, the Swiss website of the, uh, oh, there it is. Mm, charming, isn't it? So this is why some people had to die. In uh, Geneva, on uh, here you see the Swiss Templars here, and the other, I think it's by this Norwegian Templar. And you see, you know, this is what the Norwegian Templar, what he, what he, it's a, um, of independence, a declaration of independence, something like this. The, uh, so, so they're all related with the Swiss. I mean, th this is a Swiss website, I told you so. And they say, they're saying it, you know, we're not going to forget. So, and it is the same date. So, just put one and one together. Yeah, say, Swiss Army stuff, you know, and what are they up to, you know? A Templar never forgets. So, innocent immigrants have to die for this. Well, this is Switzerland. Yeah. The Swiss Defense League. Luxor on November the 17th, 
um, by incident, you know, like a coincidence, out of nowhere, you know, and out of the blue sky. Again, November the 17th in Switzerland, where they say we're not going to forget, and where most of the, um, the victims came from, of the Luxor massacre, they kill some um, some innocent immigrants, you know, and this this saying it, you know, and nobody does a thing. I mean, this was a revenge. There was murder. They're all in Vernier. It's a center of very high placed Nazis. The Templars, you know, the Templars. I told you the Nazi Templars. Oh, and. In Vernier, which is a rich area, there are two types of Nazism. Nazism for the poor, you know, they go with their hands up and, you know, um, cut all their hairs off and, you know, and go on the streets, very obvious. And then there's the other type of Nazism, the Nazism for the rich, for the, rich, the industrials, Switzerland, the, the, uh, the financial elite and the Templars. And they're all in Vernier. And they just give a few calls to the north of Germany or the east, like in Saxony, you know, where all the, the poor Nazis live and they're willing to, to do it, you know. And so that what happened. And it's all backed up by the Swiss Nazi police and the Swiss Nazi Justice Department. As the, the entire Swiss Nazi people, they all agree with this, you know. I, I know it by now. It's horrible, 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 horrible. Somebody do something. Oh, here, the Swiss Defense League. Well, what do they have to defend themselves from? It's the other way around. We have to defend ourselves from them. It says, our, our uh, flag, our land, uh, maximum resistance. Well, what does that mean, maximum? That's maximum is, it's killing, isn't it? That's the maximum resistance. Well, they just did it on November the 17th, on the anniversary of the Luxor massacre, which they're not going to forget. I mean, they write it all down here. Maximum resistance, that's going to the, the, ultimate, the ultimate kill, isn't it? Well, that's what they do. They're, they're saying it here, you know. Disgusting, and it's all backed up by the Swiss Nazi ju judiciary. Nobody does a thing. Well, let's listen to the Swiss pharaoh's gut guttural sounds, shall we now? <laughs> If an immigrant in Switzerland does not abide by the Swiss imposed laws of silence, then the Swiss Nazi police come around to dictate the dictatorship of their fascist Swiss judiciary pals and kill you if necessary on, on some random November 17th. 